look, another glorious morning. It makes me sick. Hey guys, and welcome. We are going to be doing the infamous, the famous, just a bunch of hocus pocus, Winifred Sanderson today. Oh my gosh, she is iconic. She is Halloween to me. And we are going to be doing her signature look today. So some of the things that make Winifred, Winifred, she has no eyebrows. She has these queen of heart lips and she's got lush. You know what I'm talking about where it's like circle, circle. And she's just iconic. I mean, it's just... That's Winifred. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing the complete Winifred look with the wig, outfit, everything. Thanks to my bestie. She let me borrow her outfit that she's going to be wearing tomorrow. And um, we are going to be doing this look today. So stay tuned. So the first thing that we need to do and kind of the first time I'm going to be teaching you guys this on my channel is the eyebrows. We need to disappear. We got to get rid of our eyebrows, but we are not shaving them off. We are going to <laughs> do some trickaroos with makeup. We're going to be using glue. So this is something you guys might have seen before. I'm going to kind of teach it a little bit as we're going through this because I've actually had to really learn this myself. I thought I got the hang of it, but I really didn't and I've had to like really learn. Glue is totally safe to put on your eyebrows. It's not going to do anything. You just need a good cleanser and makeup cloth like a Neutrogena makeup wipe after this to get your eyebrows back to normal. Let's get started and learn how to do some arts and crafts with our eyebrows. So first thing you're going to do is you're just going to get some Elmer's glue, the purple ones, the one that probably works the best. And you're going to just really just rub this all over your eyebrow like backwards upwards downwards like get it all nasty and gluey and then when you're all done you're gonna just go through and get your eyebrow all up at this point and nice and glued away so at this point you're going to need to let your eyebrows dry for a good like five to ten minutes and there's one more thing before we do that. You're going to need to take a spoolie brush and brush everything up. So you look really nice and windblown like you are in a convertible or you just had a hibachi and the fire just happened and you're just like, yeah, that's what your eyebrows need to look like. So we're going to let this sit for a couple minutes and I'll be right back and we are going to do it again and again in probably even a fourth time. So I will go do this eyebrow and I'll come back in a couple minutes. So I am back and round one with my eyebrows are dry and we're going to literally this time go over it again, but only brushing up. Um, and I look absolutely scary, but they're going to disappear in just a second. So now we're doing round three. Something else that you can also do is take a makeup wipe and get like the glue that's not needed for your eyebrows. So we're going to let this dry and we'll get to round four. And here is the fourth and final layer. You really want to push hard. So you make sure you get every single baby here. Me, mixed with no makeup, skin breakouts, and these eyebrows. Ooh, not a good day for this face right now. <laughs> and we're going to let this dry and we'll be right back. 
Okay, so you have made sure that your glue is dry, it's bone dry, and we are now gonna go in with a color corrector. This is the Maybelline Master Camo Color Corrector. It's, a, it's like the orange bottle, and you're gonna like twist the top until you get the product coming out, and we're gonna apply this over our eyebrows. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now I look like a ginger. We have this nice burnt orange color on eyebrows and we're going to take a beauty blender, slightly damp, and just blend it in. You're gonna need to put some pressure on it. This is gonna really help hide the color, hence color corrector. Okay, so our eyebrows are slowly but surely vanishing. The next step is we need to go in with a whiter translucent type baking powder and really let it bake so i'm going to go in with the revolution luxury baking powder in ghost i'm gonna put it in my cap and you're really going to need to take this beauty blender and press this into the skin and where your eyebrow is really get a nice coat on these guys and now we got another five to ten minutes of sitting and letting this bake and harden over our eyebrows i'll be right back do i look so good oh yeah you know you like it you know you like it so at this point i have let my baking bake for a good seven to ten minutes and we are just going to wipe away the excess officially below and above our eyebrows and at this point we are ready for some foundation she's not that pale maybe we'll like go over a little bit with powder then we'll go over it with the white powder i'm just gonna go in with my normal foundation so i'm gonna go in with the huda beauty foundation in the color latte this is what i normally wear every day so just a close match foundation and we're just gonna start putting our foundation on like normal and when you go over the eyebrows you're going to really push hard and they are vanished and this is called eyebrow blocking which is the official term for this makeup artistry process Okay, me without eyebrows is probably scarier than 2020. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've never seen myself like this before, but she doesn't have like the most glamorous makeup look like we did with Sarah. So something that you're going to do this a little bit different is we actually want to put foundation on our lips and make our lips temporarily disappear. We need it to match the color of our face because we're going to create those amazing queen of heart lips that she has. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is just put on some concealer. We got the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light. We're just gonna put some on our under eye. To get our skin a little bit more ghostly, witchy white, we're gonna go in with the Revolutionary Baking Powder in the color Ghost and just kinda mattify and set our face, but kinda just create like a little bit of a white sheen to it, but not so white like Sarah. The one thing I can say about Winifred's look is she doesn't have to draw on her eyebrows every day so let's just go ahead and get to our eyes so we have the morphe x james charles palette we're gonna be living in this today and her eyes are really not well done like she has just kind of like this messy darker brown look and we're going to just kind of just slap on some eyeshadow i mean this look is really not meant to be the most flattering honestly but 
it is what it is so we are going to go in with the morphe x jacqueline hill jh33 brush and we're going to go in with the color t and just kind of lazily slap on this like smoky brown color I'm gonna get it on the crease of our eye and I'm just really being kind of lazy with it like just not really trying that hard because I want to look like I've been you know with Satan for a couple years so and we're going to go in our under eye with that same color be lazy guys we don't need to look that perfect with this eye look then we're going to go in with the color Benny with the JH49 brush and just put a little bit of a darker color on our outer corner. I don't know. I'm trying to decide. Do I want to add a little bit more color? Okay, maybe I'll go in with the color Boutique with that same fluffier brush and just kind of pat this on our lid. Okay, I really like that. So we just did that. I'm gonna go do the other eye for camera and we'll be right back. So one last thing that we're going to do before we put on some mascara, we're gonna go in with the color Spooky on a flat head brush like this. So this is a JH43 Jaclyn Hill X Morphe. And we're just going to outline our eyes just like it's our eyeliner. It's just slightly more spooky. So our eyeshadow is done and I feel like it looks really witchy and so now we're going to go in with some mascara. So I have the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and that's just all we're going to do. We're not going to put any falsies on because I feel like she's just not as glamorous and doesn't really have the falsies going on. So we are just going to do a layer of mascara because that's just not really the focal point is her eyes it's really the absence of eyebrows that extreme red lip and those horrendous cheeks so but it's just another glorious morning for some dotted red cheeks so make sure to swipe away any excess fallout and our eyes are done at this point next we're going to work on doing those infamous dotted cheeks and i didn't have this product last year so i kind of had to improvise and this year we have our rare beauty liquid blush which is going to this pigment is going to really make for some amazing dots on our cheeks i can't i can't even like just Ah, like I just know it's about to like really hit hard so we're going to go in with the color joy and this is the matte formula and you're just going to dot your cheeks but this is going to be the most unblended in that we are ever going to do in our lives like I really just want to keep it right here Oh yes, so let's blend this out just a little bit more, but you know that we've got to keep these dots. <sighs> Winnie, are you there? I think I'm coming to life. So yes, very dramatic dots on our cheek. And then she does have like a lot of blush just everywhere on her face, almost like she contoured herself with blush. So we're going to do a little bit of that. So we're gonna go in with the Essence Silky Touch Blush in the color Baby Doll and just really kind of contour our face with some blush her nose she just looks a little flustered i mean it's hard to chase after those kids and that virgin so he's got my book we've got our blush going on and now we're it's time to get to the infamous lip so our lips are covered in foundation they need to stay that way because we need our lips to disappear to create the nice heart lips and what you're going to do to create that is go in with a red lip pencil any red lip pencil i have a jordana easy for lips retasteable pencil in sedona red and honestly i don't know if you're ever going to find this again because i really am not even sure how i got this so just a red pencil from the drugstore will work just fine and you're going to start by 
being very dramatic with your lips and you're gonna come up and create like almost like you're creating a heart so we've got the top of our heart and you're gonna go down so you're creating just a, a loop and just start filling that in So we got it going on, okay. Final thing that you're gonna do is set your face. It's only taken 300 years. We need to make sure our makeup looks okay. <sighs> I can't get over how amazing this looks. Okay, so we're gonna go get our wig on and our outfit and I'll be right back. It's just a bunch of hocus pocus. Sister! <laughs> my look is complete i am officially winifred sanderson and i cannot believe how amazing this look came together and i'm just like obsessed i hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and that you get your final look as winifred sanderson and definitely tag me in all of your looks. I've done Sarah and I might not get to marry this year or I might do it next year and or I might, it might be after Halloween. And I hope you enjoy this and this is our final look. Why was I cursed with such idiot sisters? I put a spell on you and now you're mine. So I really hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial and have a fantastic Halloween. It's my favorite holiday of all time. So enjoy yourself. And if you like this content, definitely give it a thumbs up. And definitely don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a video. Enjoy yourselves. Don't eat too much candy. Actually eat all the candy you want. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.